But I just go for a ride around my farm life here. Trying to see if the uh, if I set my camera up right to record out of the mirror. I can't really see the mirror because it's facing the camera, but I think because of the angle, it's like choo choo. It actually gets my face. So it'll have it'll have me talking or not. I also tore the cover on my on my um, GoPro, my sound cover, or wing cover. So, that's a little distracting. Hopefully the wind doesn't get into the mic. I'll try not to go too fast. All this land has been cleared out over here on the left. I've taken this ride before, you can probably see. It's all overgrown. But now it's been cut back. There's still some remnants left there. It's getting dry. But I can see that some of the farmers have flooded their land. I think I showed that in another video. And there's some bumps there. Yeah, I like these foam covers because it should allow you to pick up the sound pretty good. They always have, except when they're torn, I think that's a problem. You got some banana trees down, probably from the heat. Because I don't see the banana stalk, so nobody's collecting bananas. an easy life. That's what I need. I need an easy life without strife. While the world falls apart, I can ride my scooter through the back roads of rice fields in Thailand. And at my age, I don't know, maybe I've become less worried about the world. If I had children, maybe I'd worry a little bit more. But if I had children, I probably would have positioned them or otherwise prepared them for the downfall of civilization. <laughs> Beautiful back here. It's still green, even though we got super hot weather. Some of that greenery persists. Especially on the right there where the river is. We got the highest end protecting all the water from getting too hot. So the fish and stuff can live underneath. But another month of this or so, it'll it won't be green anymore. It'll be all brown. There's another guy over there. pumping out that water. See these big old canals are way bigger than mine and, and, and they can they can fill those up. But they currently drain them. So they flood the fields. There's shirt cane over here on the right. Yeah. Farmland goes through, especially in Thailand, goes through multiple changes in a single year. Not only from crop rotation, but Mother Nature and all kinds of events. But I've always liked the rice fields, you know, driving around in here. Some of the villages are, are a little better. I'm gonna try to get over to my, you know, when you go 
closer to the mountains and the hills, like, uh, anyway, just over the hill over here by the lot and all that. The villages are a little bit tighter. And uh, during the green part of the year, they're really green. Probably make a cool video. I wanted to make some of these like point of view videos on the scooter. I always like doing that because I figure when I'm older and I can't walk around, maybe I can sit on a treadmill and watch this video. Like I was actually riding my scooter again when I was old and could no longer ride. Pretty cool here though. Uh -oh. Whoa, my phone. Wait a minute. Oh, my phone jumped right out of the pocket. Uh, that was a little bit of a whoop de doo. I, I wasn't paying attention. trying to do it before the weather bears down on them. It's still kind of early. I just hope the, my camera doesn't get too heated up. Too heated up, it'll shut itself off. I have to keep checking so I can see it in the viewfinder. There's a road that goes through here, cuts through, there's a new guy, a uh, house built by somebody, just finished actually. Just finished up with the gate. I don't know if that's a Falang house or what. We have more and more Western people moving in around here, everywhere. I just met a guy yesterday over at the DIY star. I think, what was his name? A Paul, I think it is, from Australia. Cool dude. He's just over in Nong uh, Klong. It's over the hill, basically. It's kind of where, it's, actually, that's right. It's, the other guy that lived, just bought a house in the city, Sam, he has uh, his, his daughter, Thai daughter, lives in Nong Kong. That's how you say it. I think I might have missed my turn off. I can use another one going up here. Usually at least one, one, uh, you know, road over the bridge, so to speak, or over the canal. That's all sugar cane. Big old sugar cane. One's on a ride, these guys are doing a rice. It's got one of them big old egrets in there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, today, so I've been looking for this uh, piece of mail in my new mailbox. Y'all might have seen that video where I installed a new mailbox up at the front. Yeah, well, eh, I don't have my keys. I don't know where I, what I do with them. So I went back and I watched my video and I saw like, you know, I took the key out of the box and then I was talking with both hands. So that led me to believe I put my key in my pocket, you know, my kind of work pants pocket, real 
little baggy. And then we're at, and then I'm watching like where did I go after that, trying to follow my footsteps so to speak with my pants. Yeah, that's when I cleaned those two boats. So I got in the water. So you know, I'll bet you I'll bet you more than not that god dang keys wound up in the pond. So looks like I'm gonna have to replace the lock on that. First I gotta get it off without bending the crap out of my my uh, mailbox. God dang it. Alright man. Let's go for a ride. Ladies that are practicing things sound like they're practicing, you know, some of the Buddhist performances or duties, I should say, yeah. Some of the temple duties, maybe.
motorcycles, man. That's what that's all about. Although when you get older, it's more like motor scooter. I can still lay this down the same way I do motorcycle. I tightened up my rear brake so I can slide if I have to. This is uh, this this truck coming up on the right. This is one of those ones I've always talked about. That's a tractor motor in the front of it. Um, a walk behind tractor. And the motor's turned sideways and the flywheel is hooked up to a drivetrain. And a truck is built around it. And then boom, you got yourself a truck. And when you're not busy, you can take your truck. Oi! You can take your uh, tractor engine off and put it back on your tractor axle or you can also use it you know those are the ones same one they use to empty the ponds and stuff but hey man that's what life's all about here on the Thai farm oh. well, I hope you enjoyed that so I will oh park this bike and hey thanks for watching keep watching and I'll get back at you. More scooters here on the dive bar.